Uh, my name is Emily Clements and this is a video of dietary habits consultation completed on the 24th of September 2019. Uh, hi. Hi. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, so, the consultation today, so what were the reasons that you wanted to get some nutrition assistance? Oh, just to make sure that the bit of exercise I'm doing is complementing each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the we'll go through the dietary habits questionnaire. Um, so it's just basically asking you different serves of the different types of food groups that you do eat um, per day, and then also uh, there's a question about per week. Yeah. So we'll go through that. Um, okay. So do you have any special dietary requirements or allergies no. or anything like that? No. And serves per day. So how many serves of vegetables would you normally eat per day? Do you Probably two, two or three. Two or three, yeah. yeah. And how many serves of fruit would you eat per day? Oh, one, if I'm lucky. One, okay, <laughs> yeah, no worries. <coughs> and then what about breads and cereals? Yeah, probably two, two or three, maybe. Two or three, so yeah, yeah like one or two pieces of bread or a couple, yeah. half a cup of rice and stuff like that, yeah. All right, and how many serves of dairy would you say? Um, probably... Two or three. Two or three? Yeah. yeah. And then the same with meat or any alternatives to meat? Yeah, yeah, probably the same. Two the same, two or three. And then there's discretionary choices. So looking at the list below, so I'll put that here, um, how many discretionary choices do you think that you'd have per week? The seven to nine category. Seven right? to nine. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of things would they be? Uh, well, I have a can of soft drink a day, mm -hmm. but that's a no sugar one. Yeah. And um, occasionally have processed meat. Okay. Like a ham or something like that from the deli. Okay. No worries. Um, okay. So just looking at this information, it just sounds like you need a little bit more, like guidance of maybe how to add a few more vegetables and fruit into your diet or switching out a few things so that you're um, a little bit more consistent in your nutrition. Um, so I'll give you some nutritional advice as much as I can give you. Um, if we then come back and decide that maybe you need a little bit more help, we can always refer you off to a um, nutritionist. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, cool. All right. So now that we've done that one, so essentially – Obviously, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, so um, I just base my information off what the health, healthy guides are. Um, so there's the Australian Dietary Guidelines, that's this sheet here. It just runs through the different guidelines that they um, recommend for any person that's normal, like you don't, obviously you don't have any allergies or any dietary requirements or anything like that. So for this one, it's just giving you a basic understanding of um, what is healthy eating and how you can achieve that. Um, so I'll give this to you at the end as well um, so you can refer back to it. It's really good because it actually gives you the different serving sizes. Okay. Um, so these are your basic food groups that they recommend eating from to be able to get your macro and micronutrients throughout the day. Um, it gives you a table for men and women and the different ages. Um, so for your category, it would be in here. So for you, servings per, for vegetables and legumes, beans, that kind of thing per day would be five and a half. Okay. Yeah. And then servings for fruit is two. It's pretty much two for everyone. Yeah. Um, and it also shows you, so like it's a medium banana or an apple, um, one cup of uh, the fruit in syrup, that kind of stuff, which that one you'd probably want to limit a bit more. It's a bit mm. higher in sugar. Um, and then these are like the stoned fruits. So two small ones of those. Um, and then the servings per day with the grains. Um, again, yours would be six. It's a little bit higher. So grains and that kind of thing are a little bit higher in energy. Um, so they're going to be uh, things that you want to kind of focus on are a bit more whole grain kind of foods. Um, so it does give you kind of the standards and stuff here. So one slice of bread is a serving. Um, half a medium roll of flatbed bread, that's a serving. Um, the rice and pastas. So with rice, it's better for you to have basmati rice than it is to have jasmine rice, mm. um, things like that. We can go through the low GI as well if you want to have a look at that. Um, yeah, so these are it's kind of a good idea of what you should be 
really eating. Um, something interesting that I found was the weekly limit of red meats was 455 grams. So realistically, like it's not not a lot in terms of lean meats. Um, mm. That's more just the red meats though. So anything else, like you can have your chickens and your fishes and um, beans, eggs, that kind of stuff, that all kind of comes under that lean meat, poultry, fish, um, that. And then the yogurts and the milks, they do recommend that you go for the light alternatives. Um, with light milk, there's no added sugars, which is great. But for yogurts and that kind of thing, you do have to watch out for any added sugars. Um, but yeah, so with that serving size, so you got two and a half for your meats, and then you've got two and a half again for your dairies, okay. um, cheeses, that kind of things. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a good reference to have to see how much like a serve is and how much that means per day. It's also got tips um, for choosing nutrition, foods and drinks. Pretty much says that, you're best off having your water and things like that. Um, so substituting anything if you want a bit of flavour in them is probably putting a bit of um, like small amounts of fruit juices, so lemons or even citruses, things like that in there. Um, even some teas, like you can get just the basic teas and then diluting them with a bit of water and, and that kind of thing, having them cold if you want to have a cold alternative. Um, do you have to watch out for sometimes there is a little bit of added sugar. It should tell you on the package, but most of them are pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'd say with your diet, having a look at this, so we need to obviously add in extra vegetables, uh, extra fruit. So I'd say any cravings or anything that you have with something sweet, potentially adding some fruit would be mm -hmm. good. Um, rather than like, obviously you haven't indicated, but rather than jumping on any like chocolates or cakes or anything like yeah. that. Um, and at breads and cereals, that's, Pretty well in the guidelines let's see so breads and cereals and that um these are talking about like whole grains and that kind of thing so you're pretty good with your two to three you could then add in like your pastas and noodles and porridge for breakfast that kind of stuff um and dairy you're pretty much spot on with your dairy so that's good and your meat as well um discretionary choices and that obviously that's a per week thing so you do want to limit your intake of that if you're having a can of soft drink a day, maybe you want to try and like limit it and have it once every couple of days or something like that, and then um, bringing that one down a little bit. Uh, and then that way, when you do have like a day when you want to have a few extra treats, you've kind of got that that luxury of having those in there. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any questions or anything along the lines of this? Mm, straightforward. Yeah. And any? Do you think any extra assistance, or do you think you have a pretty Good no, idea I think, I think I'm cruising along all right. Yeah. Not too bad, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Excellent. Okay, well, I think that's pretty good. Do you have any more questions? Thank you.